。好，各位同学午安。五一连假第一天下午，哦，我们来做一下假日版的 Easy News， 哦，也就是 ICRT 的 Easy News 朗读播报训练。我们选的新闻标题是 Netherlands Office in Taipei Post Name Change Video。哦，从字面意思来看，是荷兰的在台办事处。Post 应该是 removed， 移除了。Name change 更名的 video， 哦的那一段影片，发布时间昨天四月三十号的靠近下午，哦，也就是十二点二十九分。那我来播报用，用、哦、我按照我们新的做法来试试看，再尝试一下。我个人先用随性哦版，随性的非专业版，先来念一遍，念完同学再听专业主播的播报啊，做一个比较。好，我现在开始。The Netherlands de facto embassy in Taiwan confirmed today that it has taken down a video on its Facebook page, in which it had announced a name change from the Netherlands Trade and Investment Office to the Netherlands Office Taipei. The video was removed after China protested the name change, urging the Netherlands to adhere to the One China principle, under which Taiwan is seen as part of China. In the video, Guy Wittes, head of the Netherlands office, said, "Despite the global COVID-19 pandemic, relations and cooperation between Taiwan and the Netherlands have continued." To strengthen in many areas, the move by the Netherlands to change the name of its Taipei office followed similar decisions by Australia, the United Kingdom, Japan, and Poland over the past years. However, it is unclear if the office will move forward with the name change. 好，我念完，我们来听听看专业主播的播报。The Netherlands' de facto embassy in Taiwan confirmed that it has taken down a video on its Facebook page in which it had announced the name change from the Netherlands Trade and Investment Office to the Netherlands Office Taipei. The video was removed after China protested the name change, urging the Netherlands to adhere to the One China principle under which Taiwan is seen as part of China. In the video, Guy Wittich, head of the Netherlands office, said, "Despite the global COVID-19 pandemic, relations and cooperation between Taiwan and the Netherlands have continued to strengthen in many areas. The move by the Netherlands to change the name of its Taipei office follows similar decisions by Australia, the United Kingdom, Japan, and Poland over the years. However, it is still unclear if the office will move forward with the name change." And three immigration consultants. 好，我们就听完了。原则上，这个内容我刚刚概略看过，应该是没有什么问题了。那实作，实作的部分，我目前没有看到我们需要实作的。哦，如果有需要实作，同学可以用朗文的英英字典来做实作。哦，这里面我看一下，好像没有什么特别需要实作的字。那比较要值得一提的是。荷兰的，哦，他我我们翻荷兰是翻，哦 ，Holland， 但事实上 Holland 是应该是荷兰，就我所知啊，不见得正确。同学要进一步考证也可以，就是说它其实是低地国 ，The Netherlands 以当地的语言是低洼地区的意思的国家。那 Holland 其实是荷兰里面的一个行政区，哦，它叫 Holland， 那。如果你要用形容词来表达荷兰的，我们应该会用 Dutch， 哦，或者荷兰语我们会用 Dutch， 荷兰的人，哦，用 Dutch 会比较好。那那个 Holland， 哦，应该是荷兰的一个行政区，就我所知。那我们这个部分来实做看看好了。好，我现在查 Holland。The usual English name for the Netherlands. 好，我在查维基百科，一个是字典的解释，一个是维基百科的解释，就当做我们今天的实作练习。
。好，维基百科就有不同的风貌了。哦，同学可以看一下他的解释。荷兰 as a region 有没有？跟我刚刚讲是一个行政区，是荷兰的一个行政区 ，and former province on the western coast of the Netherlands。哦，看图就知道这是荷兰的地图 ，the Netherlands。但是黄色这一块就是我们讲的那个行政区，叫 Holland。哦，它是一个行政区。之前是一个像省一样的东西，后来改成一个 region 一个区。The name Holland is also frequently used informally to refer to the whole of the country of the Netherlands。哦，也常常哦被用来讲荷兰。This usage is commonly accepted in other countries and sometimes employed by the Dutch themselves. 就是说，荷兰人比较少接受这样的讲法，因为会很混淆了。因为荷兰是一个行政区，它并不代表整个国家，但是因为可能比较好叫吧，哦，因为那个两个音节会比三个音节、四个音节好念。那但是荷兰人自己的接受度没有那么高，就对了啦。However, some in the Netherlands, particularly those from regions outside Holland, may find it. Undesirable， 就是说有些人在荷兰，尤其是那些是从别的区来的，在荷兰的那个区以外的区，也是荷兰人，他不在荷兰的那个 Holland 那个那个区，会觉得说我们不想这样被叫。Or misrepresentative to use the term for the whole country， 哦这样子，所以所以同学在使用这个字的时候要特别注意，哦你跟荷兰人当地人讲。荷兰这个国家不要用 Holland， 因为他会认为你在讲这个行政区。他如果也是这个行政区来的，他会觉得还好；如果不是这个行政区来的，哈哈这个行政区看起来只有五分之一的样子，哦，那那会有一点点尴尬这样子。好，这是我们实作部分，我临时想起来讲的，同学当个参考就好。哦，这样子。那我们今天的播报朗读训练就到这个地方，感谢大家，午安。